Well, let somebody shout hallelujah. Shout another hallelujah. If you don't mind, shout another hallelujah. The apostle has spoken. What can the pastor now say? Let somebody shout hallelujah. My duty is just to bless you. But before I do so, I just want to guide you into what is about to happen now. There is, in the Bible, the story of a man. You will find the story in John chapter 5. You can read it when you get home, from verse 2 to 9. It talks about a man who had been sick for 38 years. He was incurable, that's why he went to the place called the Pool of Bethesda. Waiting for an angel to come once a year to stir a particular pool. And for 38 years he has been there. Until one day the light of the world paid him a visit. I want to decree to somebody right away. The light of the world will visit somebody today. And when that happened, several things happened to the man. Number one, he was healed. And I want to decree in the name of the one who called me. Every sick person here will be healed tonight. But he wasn't just sick. He was a failure. He had tried for 38 years and failed 38 years. I am sent tonight to tell you that there is someone here he will never fail again. Now, it wasn't, it wasn't just a failure. Because he said every time I tried to get into the pool, somebody got in before me. It wasn't just a failure, it was a defeated person. As the Lord lives, in the name that's above every other name, you will never be defeated again. He wasn't just defeated. He was stagnant. He was going around in circles. He come forward to the pool. Somebody got in before him. He would go back to square one. Stagnant for 38 years. As the Lord Jesus Christ lives, from this day, your promotion begins. Yeah. When, Jesus, when Jesus got to him and asked him, will you be made whole? He made a statement. 
He said, I have no one. No one. There are many of us here. We would have gone far if there had been someone to help. But I'm predicting, I'm prophesying, I'm decreeing. And for every one of you here tonight, help will come from the helper. You don't have to be there to know that that man was sad. I mean, if somebody had been sick for 38 years, failed for 38 years, defeated for 38 years, abandoned for 38 years, that fellow definitely must have been sad. But the light came and he was never sad again. I decree to somebody here tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you will never know sorrow again. I can go on and on. That man had many problems. He was lonely. He was single. He was barren. Yeah. <laughs> All he was waiting for was healing. He wasn't talking of fruitfulness. He had so many problems. But in a single moment, in less than one hour, all his problems were over. Because you came tonight. Even by tomorrow morning, you will testify. And so we are going to do something by faith before I pray for you. Those of you who have your mobile phone here, turn it to the touch light. We want to do something by faith. And then lift the light up. Glory be to God. I want you to lift your voice to the Almighty God loud and clear. And say, Light of the world, shine upon me. Go ahead, pray, pray that prayer. Oh, thou light of the world, shine upon me today. Shine on my family. Shine on my body. Shine on my soul. Shine upon my spirit. Shine on my ministry. Shine on me tonight. Light of the world, shine on me. Shine on me. Light of the world, shine on me. Shine on me and put an end to all my problems. Light of the world, shine on me. Shine on me. Shine on me. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And then you are going to pray another prayer. And please pray it with all your heart. You say, light of the world. Thank you for your light. For the rest of my life. Don't let my light go out. Go ahead, pray, 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 pray. Light of the world. Thank you for your light. For the rest of my life. 
don't let my light go out. Don't let my light go out. Don't let my light go out. Light of the world, don't let my light go out. Don't let my light go out. Light of the world for the rest of my life. Don't let my light go out. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, I'm going to pray for you now. After that, you, you still have one more prayer to pray. But let me pray for you first. My Father, my God, I thank you. I thank you for your presence here tonight. Thank you for the word we have heard. Thank you for salvation of souls. Thank you for the miracles we have heard. Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, you sent me here. I'm not here on my own volition. And you promised me, Lord God Almighty, way back in 1981. You said, wherever I go, you will go with me. So I know you are here now. Thank you. And thank you for those who are here. And because many people heard about this meeting. You brought these ones specially because you want to be merciful unto them. Father, accept my thanks in Jesus' name. Now, Father, it is written that I will decree a thing and it will be established unto me. So, Daddy, in the mighty name of Jesus, I hereby decree into the bodies of all these people, let your light shine. Into their souls, let your light shine. Into their spirit, let your light shine. Into their families, let your light shine. Into their businesses, let your light shine. Into their churches, let your light shine. Into their towns and villages, let your light shine. In Edo State, let your light shine. Oh, my Father, my God, in Edo State, let your light shine. Into Edo State, let your light shine. In Nigeria, let your light shine. For the rest of the life of these your children, don't let their light go out. And let them serve you to the end. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now, before you pray, just wave the light. Wave it. Wave it. Let's make the devil mad. Wave the light. Let's show him that he has lost the battle. Wave the light. Thank you, Father. Amen. Now, it comes to the final prayer. But before we pray that, please, those of you who gave your life to Jesus, I rejoice with you. Because from tonight onward, I'll be praying for you. And very soon, you'll be receiving miracles. And then you will know there is somebody somewhere praying for you. And that somebody will be me. So please don't leave without leaving your names, your address, and your prayer requests. I promise you as a man of God, I'll be praying for you. Now your final prayer. This time it's between you and God. You forget everybody on your right or your left. You will lift your voice to the almighty God and say, Father, for the rest of my life, let me shine for you. 
Go ahead, pray. Father, for the rest of my life, let me shine for you for the rest of my life, Lord. Let me shine for you.